All right, folks, if you want to know how to make dough, I'm going to give you the rundown of the ingredients, but you can watch any of my other videos to see how it's done in the essence of time because the recipe don't change. All right, I got some flour right here. I put a little olive oil in there. I'm mixing some brown sugar, a little bit of baking powder. I cut in some butter, a little bit of salt. Uh, if I'm making biscuits, maybe a little bit of pepper and then some milk. So that's pretty much how I make biscuits right there. I sometimes substitute the milk for a can of beer. If you don't have any milk or beer, you can do water. I got the dough made up sitting right there. And I got a beautiful wife number one over here carving up a chicken, looking sexy. Oh my goodness, baby, that's your uh, bathing suit, right? Mm, she's looking delicious. Cutting up that chicken for us. She's also going to uh, cut up some broccoli carrots and garlic for us folks and then we we're going to proceed at a high rate of speed watching uh as usual watching some hee haw got my little girl maria here helping me out and force g's outside with uh, marissa making all kind of noise but it's gonna be some delicious food and this is inspired because we go to sit and bowl a lot and if you have kids and you go to sit and bowl here in barrio barreto great restaurant but we order the soup and it's either cream of potato or cream of chicken and broccoli soup comes with a corn muffin the babies love it and we basically split the corn muffin one bowl of soups good enough for two babies and they just chow down on it and it's delicious I say you know what I'm gonna make my own uh, creamy what I call it creamy chicken soup with dumplings or chicken and dumpling creamy soup, I'll figure it out, hell. It's gonna be delicious. And as usual, wife number one over there is skeptical about my meal. I said, no problem, you got one option with me. So the like, same with dealing with me. You got one option, that's to love it. And that's it. There are no other alternatives. All right, folks, let me get my game plan on this. All right, I'm gonna saute this chicken first. Then I'm gonna hit it with the carrots onions garlic and my wife's idea of broccoli which that don't look like broccoli to me that looks like cauliflower and so we had a debate because apparently either she don't know what broccoli is or I don't know what broccoli it is and I've been drinking so I'm not gonna swear that I'm the expert here but I swear that's cauliflower she said it's broccoli so we're gonna saute this I'm gonna hit it with that <clears throat> then we're going to uh, come in with the milk brown sugar and butter get that to bubbling and then i'm dropping in the uh the dumplings i'm just going to tear off a piece and, and drop it in there so the dumplings will be the last thing going down oh shit what's going on well, i'm getting on electricity we keep that unplugged as a safety measure because my baby girl likes to come over here and turn the knobs so let me get it plugged back in and then off we go all right, folks, we're starting off this little cooking show. I'm gonna kick it over on hot just to get the pan heated up. Let's hit it with the chicken. My camera lady is tied up. Um, beautiful wife, number one. Shout out to her, she chopped up the chicken and the vegetables, but she's back there helping uh, Marissa with the babies. I said, you know what, ain't, ain't no problem. I've been a one-man film crew before, one-man cooking show, and that's what's going on today. But I think I got the right angle on the dangle of this camera so you can see what's going on. And I guess I should check and make sure, yeah, I do have the right, I have the right eye on. Alright, so while that, that heats up a little bit, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to get a necessary ingredient for all my cooking shows. It's called a cold Heineken. Chilling in my Yeti cup. If you're in Southeast Asia, you need a lid so to keep the damn flies off of there. Some of my, my cooking shows are long. So to make sure my beer, oh shit. Make sure my cold beer don't get hot. I keep it in my Yeti. This stuff gets to sizzling. Damn. 
And you know what, folks? I'm a teetotal dumbass. Because I did have the wrong eye on it. And I started to touch that son of a bitch back there and almost burnt my head. Alright, now we're in the smash. I was going to try to make this a five minute cooking show. But I wasted several minutes because I didn't even have the damn eye on it. Welcome to my world. I got the chicken going now. And I know it's going to be a little noisy, but this was steaming up the lens. <laughs> it was steaming my lens so bad with this chicken, with that little angle over there. I had to switch over to uh, first person. So I got the camera in my right hand, and I got my spatula in the left. But I've been down this road before. Okay. My wife says that's broccoli. I say it's cauliflower. There's uh, onion, carrots, and garlic. I think there's onion in there. All right, hit it with a little bit more uh, olive oil. Olive oil tastes delicious on anything you cook. You can never put too much olive oil on anything. I don't think so. Sort of like putting too many onions or too much garlic, which is, it can't be done. Well, folks, one thing about this cast iron, you know, I grew up around cast iron, but it's been a long time since I've been cooking in it. And I was like, you know what? It's convenient to have those non-stick, you know, chemical coated shit. <clears throat> but folks, you just gotta learn how to cook in cast iron. This ain't sticking one bit. The first thing that I cooked the other day, yeah, it, it stuck a little bit. That's my own fault. This ain't, this ain't sticking on me. All right, and I'm not messing around. I don't make sure it's not gonna stick. Coming in here with the milk. Now again, we're making a soup. We're making a soup. We're not making uh, a stir fry. But I think it's gonna be a combination of both flavors. Cause I, I I'm all cooking this all in one pan. Yeah, I could have boiled the chicken. I could have made the chicken in another pan. I don't. I didn't want to. I want to make it all in one pan. So we got the milk in there. Now I'm coming after the butter. And I'm gonna put a, a pretty good healthy chunk of this butter because butter makes things delicious. All right, now since I put the full cream milk in there, I'm gonna pour a little bit of water. Let me drink water. And no, this ain't Jack Daniels. This is uh, just bottled water. A little water in my whiskey bottles. Have a few extra full bottles of water around the house in case we run out. There we go. And get this thing to a boil. And once it goes to a boil, I'm going to drop in the dumplings. A little bit more olive oil. How can you go wrong with a little bit of olive oil on anything? And you can see I just made a ball of dough and there's no there's no rocket science to uh, you know to making dumplings I don't think. I mean you know I've made dumplings since I was a kid like anybody else. They're always a different shape. Sometimes they're done, sometimes they're still chewy. And all I'm gonna do is just pull some off and I'm just gonna stop start dropping them in there. It ain't rocket science, folks. Anybody can do this shit. Anybody can make this. There's no... This is not rocket science. You don't need to be... What the fuck's the, the dickhead's name? It's always criticizing people. Uh, Gordon... Gordon fucking Ramsay. You don't gotta be Gordon fucking Ramsay to make uh, chicken and dumplings or creamy chicken soup. My ladies in there, they have no idea what I'm making. And like I said on many videos, to be honest, they don't want to make. They don't want to eat what I'm making. If if I if I gave it to uh, wife number one or Marissa, they would eat fried chicken with magic syrup, soy sauce, and rice. That's it. That's their meal. But the reason they're like that is because they've grown up. That's all they they ate. A very limited range of flavors. I try to explain to Fatima, wife number one, I don't want my kids growing up with that same mentality because they can't travel and navigate the world 
if they go somewhere and the first damn thing they're doing is looking for a piece of fried chicken with fucking soy sauce and magic syrup. They, you know, but if that's all they've ate their entire life, that's what they're going to do. I want them to have a, a broad range of flavors so they can navigate the globe, not just navigate the Visayas. Alright, folks, and what I'm going to try to do, I cut it down way down on low. And I hope I'm not about to go wrong here, but I'm going to cover this with the lid to this combo cooker. And I'm going to keep it on low for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to call it done. If it bubbles over, it bubbles over. But there's, there's the lid to this combo cooker. And that cooker just, just sits down on there like that. Our post has been sitting here. I killed the heat. Oh, five minutes or so. Still simmering just a little bit. It's good to be the king. Now, Fatima, what what did you do when you came in here, baby? What's the first thing you did? <laughs> she grabbed that spoon over there and took an unauthorized, baby, an unauthorized taste test. Is it good or delicious? Well, folks, we still got it. A little cooling down here. Nothing is sticking. It's all come together perfect, and I think the taste is going to reflect on the success of the cooking operation. Buddy man, can I tell you something, baby, from the bottom of my heart? You were so lucky to be with me. Please don't ever forget that, okay? And I say that so sincerely. Smile. <laughs> Baby, kick it. Shake that booty one time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Boo dots, boo dots, boo dots, boo dots, boo dots. Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. Just out of the way. Oh my goodness. And again, you can call this chicken and dumplings, but I added some vegetables for the babies. All right, folks, here we go. That's another look at the finished product. I think it kind of turned out perfect. And I kind of chopped up the dumplings for the babies over here. And I'm just letting it cool down. Let me see what they think. All right, let's try it. Is that good, Maria? Is that delicious? Okay, it looks like Maria said it's delicious. Let me go check 4th G. Alright. 4th G? It's not bothering me. I'm eating. Is that good, son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that good, son? You got a mustache with the soup. Ooh, that's good, huh? There you go. Alright, folks, so it looks like two. Two out of two babies say that the uh, creamy chicken soup with dumplings is delicious. And what about the Filipinas? How's the food? Delicious. Delicious. Awesome. I wow. Guess. I got four delicious. My goodness. Called a Guinness Book of World Records and I didn't use soy sauce or magic to wrap. My God. All right, folks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Chicken. Let me try to taste my own medicine here. I already kind of tasted that spoon, but let me let me see how it's turned out. And I make a note, I didn't have to add any flour to thicken this up. This thickened up on its own, it just came out perfect. I don't think you need to add, especially if you put that many dumplings in there, you don't, you don't need to add any flour to thicken it up. Just let it cool. You know, put the top on there while it cools. Let me try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good. What is it? That's pretty good, but it's missing a little bit of something. I think most people put the chicken broth in there. So I'm thinking that I need to add a couple of chicken bouillon cubes. 
That's what I say. Add two chicken bouillon cubes, it'll be good. I'll put too much pepper in the, the dumplings. It's got a little spice to it. Black pepper. Everything else is good to go, but I think uh, a couple chicken bouillon cubes will do it some good. Other than that, folks, it's straight. Another good meal cooked in my large cast iron combo cooker. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Let the ladies uh, get done feeding the babies. I'll entertain them while they eat. And then I'm going to throw down on whatever's left over, I promise you. Bottom right hand corner of your screen, I think it's right there. Hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my channel. Food, beer, visas, bad behavior, a lot of drinking, beautiful women, and everything in between. I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Peace out.